Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always our honor and our pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God. And today is February the 9th, 2022. On yesterday... We started a new series and we begin to talk about dream interpretations and we are over in the book of Daniel. We shared some great information and guess what? We have some more information to share with you on today and I also, I want to bring in uh, the prophet Ezekiel because we're talking about Daniel and I want to definitely bring in Ezekiel simply because we are looking at the different types of dreams and visions that uh, the individuals had and we're going to talk about uh, some of the dreams and visions that we have had. Now I don't know how long we're going to do this series. I do know that uh, we do plan on discussing more on tomorrow. And so stay tuned, have your pen and paper available. If you have any questions or comments, you know that you can send us a chat uh, while we are on the air. You can email us. Our email address is thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. Once again, if you have any questions, any comments that you would like uh, for us to get on this discussion, you can email us at thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com or if you are signed into your link for Spreaker, you can email us, guess what, and your chat will show up on the screen and we can address it there. All right. So here's something, I'm so excited about this. Here's something that I wrote down, uh, the type of dreams and visions that uh, Daniel had. And then we are also going to look at Ezekiel. Daniel had, when he transitioned into having dreams and visions, when he was at a place of spiritual maturity... Because remember, we mentioned on yesterday that the level of dream, the type of dream that you have and visions are connected to your uh, spiritual maturity, where you are in Christ Jesus. Basically, what can you handle and what are you going to do with the dreams and visions? So for Daniel, when he began to have dreams and visions, they were prophetic dreams of what was to come foretelling when we look at when we begin to look at Ezekiel Ezekiel had uh, visions that uh, gave him instructions on things to do we know as we look at Ezekiel Ezekiel was uh, very very uh, visual in what he was told to do uh, like uh, the valley of dry bones that was a vision and in that vision he was told to prophesy to the bones and so we want to definitely dig into all of that I know yesterday we shared a few dreams one of the dreams that we did share had to do with intercessory prayer and so uh, I shared with you that dream and I went into intercessory prayer but here's something that I have learned to do is I did what I saw in the dream so in the dream one of the dreams that we shared yesterday was about uh, getting a call from a doctor to pray concerning some um, some silver tins that uh, they 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 had poison in them but they didn't know what type of poison and so what I did was is I, I began to intercede once I woke up I wrote the dream out and we did share that with you over in Daniel how with Daniel he does say that it, we looked at the seventh chapter that um, it says in the first verse, in the first year of Belshazzar, king of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and visions of his head upon his bed. Then he wrote the dream. And so I encourage you to do the same thing. Write the dream out as much as you can remember and ask the Holy Spirit to help in your remembrance about the content of the dream. 
Well, I did what I saw in the dream. I prayed, I intercede, I, I prayed that the doctors would receive a revelation of what that poison was. And then I began to pray for the, the different areas that they mentioned that the poison came from and for the people. So in that, that, that type of uh, dream is a dream of intercessory prayer. That is a dream of intercessory prayer. So I want to say, pay attention to the content of the dream. Pay attention to what is going on. Get full detail, write full detail about what you see going on in the dream. And then ask the Holy Spirit, ask God to release through the Holy Spirit what you're supposed to do with that dream. What are you supposed to do with that dream? And once again, if you are praying in that dream concerning a matter, do that in the natural because those are your instructions. Basically, the dream, if it's a dream of intercessory prayer, what you see unfolding in that dream, those are your instructions. So begin to do what you see in the dream. We first have to receive it in our spirit and then in the natural. So here's something else that I did. When I had this particular dream about the doctors calling me, I acknowledged the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I consecrated myself. I, I asked the Lord to search my heart and my thoughts. And if he th found anything that was not pleasing in his sight to remove it so that I may walk in a place of righteousness because I wanted clean hands and a pure heart. I then, oh, this is so good. This just hit my spirit. This is what I did. I acknowledged the assignment to intercede and I accepted the assignment to intercede. So I did two things. I acknowledged the assignment to intercede and then I accepted the assignment to intercede. So write that down. Acknowledge your assignment. Because that is what it is. And then accept the assignment. And then do the assignment. That brings me into uh, thinking about Ezekiel. When Ezekiel was shown something... He received it. He acknowledged what he saw. He received it. And then he actually did the assignment. He did what he saw. Amen. Does that make sense? If you're just tuning in, you're tuning in to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson. And I thank you so very much for joining us today. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Listen, I would love to stay connected with you. And there are several ways in which you can do so. Via our social media on Facebook, you can find us at The Balance of Life. Also, you can find us via YouTube and Tumblr, Cast Box. Uh, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and uh, our email address is thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. You can also visit us on our website. Our website is angelfergusonministries.com. So today we are in part two of Dream Interpretations, and we're sharing with you the different types of dreams that you can have. Uh, those who are called and appointed. Now, in the Old Testament, there were a select prophets whom God would release and speak to them through dreams and visions. But as we are in the New Testament, Joel prophesied and I want to go over to that prophetic word over in Joel, the second chapter, beginning at the 28th verse, it says, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh 
and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit and so I wanted to read that because I do not want to uh, give the impression that if you do not walk in the office of the prophetic that you won't have dreams and visions in these days it was prophesied in the Old Testament that the Holy Spirit will be poured out upon all flesh and so that's why it's so important to pay attention to your dreams pay attention to your visions a lot of times when it is so pressed upon your spirit and your mind there is some depth and meaning so that's why I encourage you to write them down. What is it that you see yourself doing in the dream? Yesterday, we also shared with you, if you saw, say, uh, yourself ministering to a large group of people, well, we have to get to what we saw, right? And so we acknowledge God. We acknowledge what we saw. We accept what we saw. And then we also ask the father to help us get to what he allowed us to see another area I would like to share with you and this is so important because I've had dreams of reading the word of reading the Bible and last night as I was pondering over this series it came to me to mention this to you if you see yourself in a dream or a vision reading the word of God here's what I want you to do I want you to ask the Holy Spirit to reveal what you were reading why because that was some instructions for you there is a certain passage of scripture that God wants you to read it could be the answer to your prayer to uh, your questions it could be a, a, the second portions of some instructions for you and it's in the Word of God but you have to know what to read this goes back to the keys of promise that's right so if you if you find yourself and you have a dream or you have a vision and you're sitting and you are reading okay ask the Holy Spirit what is it that you are reading if you're reading the Word of God guess what he's going to direct you to the passage of Scripture to read now what I used to do when I would have a dream and find myself reading at first I didn't fully understand I just said oh I had a dream I was reading the Word of God but last night the Holy Spirit took me further and said tell the people to ask what it is that they are reading what are you reading so I'm gonna say also if you have a dream that you are ministering to a group of people what is the word that you are ministering ask the Holy Spirit to reveal what it is that you are saying to those people because it goes back to acknowledging the assignment and accepting the assignment and doing the assignment you have to prepare for the assignment right so what is it that you're going to study it happens in the spiritual realm first and then it transpires to the natural that is how you get to what you see that that right there is just that that's that's so good that guess what I think I'm gonna have to go back and and listen to these nuggets for myself because the Holy Spirit is giving it to me as I am speaking to you so what you see yourself doing in a dream ask ask for directions ask for guidance on how to get there if you see yourself standing in front of a crowd and you are singing well what song are you singing ask and it shall be given seek and you shall find knock and the door shall be open so that's how you get to what you see those are instructional dreams so we have an accessory dreams we have instructional dreams amen all right 
feel like I'm standing in front of a class and uh, I have my professor cap on and teaching. <laughs> So that's how we, uh, and, and then we can get a full understanding of, of what's going on in the dream, finding out what God wants us to say, what he wants us to minister. All right. Another example of um, dream interpretation. And I believe I shared this probably last week. I'm not sure, but let me share it again now that we're talking about dream interpretation. I'm I'm sleeping, I dreaming and dreaming, and I hear a name. I hear a name of a ministry. Now, when I woke up, I wrote the name of the ministry down, and I began to look up this name of this ministry, and I couldn't find it. I, I saw it in combinations, but I did not find it the way that I heard it. And so I asked the Holy Spirit, what am I supposed to do with this name? I heard it, but what am I supposed to do with it? I asked that question because I didn't know these people. I don't know the name of this ministry. I don't know where it is. I have I don't have a clue. So I said, Holy Spirit, what am I supposed to do? with this name and the response that came back to me from the Holy Spirit was pray for their vision that's right pray for their vision and so I began to pray and I've been praying for their vision now that is a dream of instruction and that is also a dream of um it is a dream also of intercessory prayer because I am specifically praying for their vision. Okay, so let's check and see if we have any questions that have come up on the screen via email. And once again, if you have any questions that you would like to send over to us, if you have any comments, you can always email us. Our email address is thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. Also, uh, if you are uh, available uh, to send in a question via our chat while we're on the air and you're on Spryker's link, you can send it and we'll see it immediately as we're talking about dream interpretations. All right. Uh, another dream. Of instruction and intercessory prayer so we're going to stick with those two today intercessory prayer and instruction so uh, I believe at the height of the pandemic so I'm going to say 2020 I have a dream that I am uh, amongst others and it is uh, a service going on a church service going on and uh, you know how they have uh, the ministers and stuff up in, you know, uh, the roster area. And it was quite a few. And I was asked to come and pray for, um, it was apostles, prophets, pastors, evangelists, teachers. Those are the fivefold bishops, them and their spouses. And it was a line of them and they stretched across the roster two by two like I said it was if it was the apostle it was him and his wife it was the bishop him and you know her and and so I saw me in the dream in the dream I was instructed to pray for them and I went down the line and I had a prayer cloth in my hand that was mine and I prayed for each one of them and I, I had to kneel down in front of them and I'm praying and I'm going down the line now when I woke up, I wrote the dream out and I did what I saw in the dream. I did it spiritually. I called out the fivefold ministry, the names, apostle, prophet, pastor, evangelist, teacher, bishops, elders, everything that I heard in the dream. And it's like I, I, I created a line. I, I went down a line. I got my prayer cloth in my hand. 
and I prayed for for those I interceded on their behalf the prayer that I prayed in the dream as I wrote it down and the Holy Spirit gave it to me that is what I did I acknowledged what I saw I gave God all of the glory I gave him thanks I gave him praise I then accepted the assignment and I did the assignment so I acknowledge what I saw myself doing in the dream I accepted the assignment and then I did the assignment and I did that assignment until when until I was released now I do have a passion and I have a love and I do intercede for those who are in ministerial leadership and so I, I do pray for them but this was a a prayer it was an accessory dream and it was a instructional dream because I did what I saw in the dream I was to intercede and pray for them so two things were going on in that dream it was a it was two types of a dream it was a dream of intercessory prayer and I was doing something which made it a instructional dream I followed the instructions of what I saw okay uh, so many different types of dreams uh, that we can have uh, having dreams of, of of seeing someone sick those are intercessory dreams that you get up and you begin to intercede well you were allowed to see it so what is it that you do with what you are allowed to see I believe on yesterday I did say that when you are given a dream or a vision to know that you are now responsible for the dream and vision that you had the responsibility is this that you pray for a revelation of that dream and that vision it is now your responsibility because God allowed you to see it and he allowed you to see it why because of your spiritual maturity so the level of things that you dream about are connected to your level of spiritual maturity your concept of responsibility now if you find that you are not responsible in handling what has been released unto you you won't dream at that level I've heard some people say oh I don't dream the way that I used to well what was your engagement with that dream what did you do with that dream did you pray and ask for a revelation God is there something that I'm supposed to do here release it through the Holy Spirit that is our responsibility for the kingdom of heaven so don't take it lightly don't just say oh yeah I dream blah 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 and just leave it there also the responsibility of the dream and knowing what to do with it some dreams are not meant to be shared that's why we have to ask the Holy Spirit what am I supposed to do with this am I supposed to intercede is there something that you want me to say to an uh, individual or uh, to someone you know to to a group of people is it a corporate word am I be instructed to study a certain area a passage of scripture what is it that I'm supposed to do with what you allowed me to see that is the key you are allowed we are allowed to dream we are allowed to have these visions so what are we going to do with them 
If you're just tuning in, you're tuning in to The Balance of Life, and I am Pastor Angel Ferguson. I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I am so excited about what we're sharing with you with this series, Dream Interpretations. Uh, It is something that I do believe we need in this season. Truly, God wants to pour out his spirit, the Holy Spirit, upon all flesh. And but we we have to make sure that we take responsibility of what we are allowed to see, what we are allowed to hear. Uh, I do want to say this, that when you have a dream or a vision and you are troubled by it, you just don't understand it. uh, Some dreams you can have and listen, it could really frighten you. Because you don't understand it, first of all, or for what you actually saw in the dream. Well, Daniel gives us great insight on what to do when that happens. Over in the 7th chapter, Daniel says in the 15th verse, I was grieved in my spirit in the midst of my body and the visions of my head troubled me. We also find that over in the, this is something that I I absolutely love and I have it underlined and I want to share this with you. Two times, once in Daniel the 8th chapter and the 16th verse uh, says, And I heard a man's voice between the banks of Uri, which called and said, Gabriel, uh, make this man to understand the vision. So God wants us to understand the visions and dreams that we have. He does not want us to go uh, to be uh, blinded by what he allowed us to see. And so just as surely if you are troubled, even if you're not troubled, always ask for a revelation of the dream and surely a revelation of the dream will come. But this is a great example of God saying help him to understand the dream and the vision so I want to encourage you in that aspect that yes God wants you to understand the dream and the vision that you have had verse 17 and I'm over in Daniel 8 it says so he came near where I stood and when he came I was afraid and fell upon my face but he said unto me understand O son of man for art the time of the end shall be the vision so he came to help him to understand the vision and then also again over in Daniel the ninth chapter and the 22nd verse it says and he informed me and talked with me and said oh Daniel I am now come forth to give thee skill and understanding so uh, I know that in the very first chapter of Daniel it talks about how Daniel had understanding and wisdom and learning it also says Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams but here we find that he needed God to send him a revelation of some dreams and visions he had he needed additional help we need additional help and that's why yesterday I did say uh, some dreams are they seem to be self-explanatorial some dreams we clearly don't understand but in either way acknowledge God acknowledge where the dream came from and ask him to give you a revelation of the dream what does this dream mean what do you want me to do with this dream and as we can see he sent help he sent the the angel Gabriel unto Daniel to help him to understand the dream and to give him skill in understanding so I definitely want to dive into that on tomorrow where it says uh, that he came to give him skill and understanding. Well, if I need skill, it's because there's something I'm supposed to do. I need to go beyond just understanding it. I need the skill to know what to do with this dream. That goes back to the question I asked when that name dropped in my spirit. I'm so excited and we're about to come to a close for the day. 
But I asked the Holy Spirit, what am I supposed to do with this name? And he came back to give me some skills. Oh, I'm so excited about this series. I hope that you are too. And we will be back tomorrow if the Lord says so. Have a blessed day, everyone.